Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD744. So today, guys, we'll be doing a uh, league review. So basically, in this video, we're going to be going through the league, uh, the non-European leagues, and going to give you guys my reaction to all these leagues, you know. And I I've, I've selected, if, uh, selected like around 10 to 12 leagues to look at. And these are kind of like the best leagues outside of Europe. Obviously, not all the best leagues are represented. You know, obviously, the Brazil League, I'm not looking at because it's quite early in the stages. So we're going to look at later on. Uh, but, you know, these are just a handful of leagues. So if you guys want to see more of this, let me know the the comments below because I'm definitely down to do this. If I am going to do this, though, it would be like every few months or so, you know, just do a periodic update because you guys know I'm traditionally a Europe guy. You know, European is kind of like my bread and butter. Um, you know, that's just where I spend most of my time analyzing and watching. Um, so, but I, I do want to look at the other leagues, you know, be more global, guys. Be a football fan, you know, and everything. So, uh, without further ado, man, we're going to go ahead and get started. So, that was probably a long introduction. We should probably get started. So, there will be times in the description below for you guys, as usual. So, let's start with the, our RG League. Of course, I have a good friend of mine that is Rink. Uh, you know, we're talking about Rink's League. And looking at the RG of Premier League. So, this is, guys, it's kind of like a, a playoff system, basically. So, as you can see, in Group A, you have Rural Plate, RG Juniors, about our Century. How do you, Marcos, uh, Central, sorry. And then you have uh, Vela Starsfield. So they basically make the, the playoffs, essentially, you know, the top four. Uh, then Group B, you have Godot Cruz, Estudiantes, Defensive Justice, and Boca Juniors. So Racing Club does not make the playoffs, which is pretty surprising. Uh, and it's Lorenzo, as well as, um, yeah. And then obviously we had the quarterfinal matchups. Let's look at the quarterfinals real quickly. Uh, I don't know if we would be able to see here. I think we should be able to see. So looking at the quarterfinals. So it's kind of like a kind of like an MLS playoffs, you know, that kind of thing. So let me see if I can show you guys. So where's the playoff matches? Uh, league table. Yeah, league table is right there. Where's the playoffs? So that's why I want to show you guys. Uh, where's the playoffs? Bruh. Uh, let's, maybe it's on the Google page. Oh, okay. I think it's right here. Okay. So as you can see, this is how the playoffs work. So as you can see, we had the quarterfinals here. We had RG and Juniors defeat Defensive Justice on penalties. As Durantis trashed Barca Central and the Godot Crows defeat uh, Velo Starsfield defeated Godot Crews 2-1. Uh, Boca Juniors won, of course, their heated matchup against uh, Bar River Plate. That's probably the biggest rivalry in, outside of Europe. Um, and then obviously in the semifinals, we had RG and Juniors versus Velo Starsfield. That ended in a... Vela Stars Field to win on penalties and Estudiantes beat Art Boca Juniors on penalties. So we have our final Estudiantes versus Vela's Starfield. If I had to give a prediction for that, I'm probably going to go with Estudiantes to win. Um, and yeah, so it's going to be interesting to see how the RG Juniors, um, it's going to be interesting to see how the RG League pans out. And then obviously we have a second phase. Uh, that's going to be where we're going to find out which team directly makes the Copa Libertadores, of course. So. Yeah, that's going to be beginning. When is that going to be beginning? That's going to begin next week. Wow, the second phase. So then you have your traditional league. Okay. Anyways, let's talk about Liga MX, guys. Let's look at Liga MX. So as you can see, Liga MX is kind of also the same as Argentina. You also have a playoff system as well. Um, as you can see, Club America won. So Club America, 35 points. Cruz Azul, 33. Toluca, 32. Monterey, 32. Tigris, 31. Guadalurja, Pachuca, Punmas. And yeah, so... Uh, I think it's like the first phase. Yeah, this is like uh, a port. Or, is there like a way I can like understand this? It's like I don't really. Uh, let me see what. Uh, I think this is like the first phase. I think they have like two phases. Let me just make sure I understand this. Uh, so let me see. So okay. Oh, okay. So this is like quarterfinals because okay, then they have a playoff, playing round. Okay. And then what is the, uh, okay, so this is the bracket. Okay, so Club America won that. And then you have the league table here. So wait, what's the difference between that and that? Oh, man, this looks really complicated. Uh, so there's like two leagues? I think it's like two leagues. Like, wait, let me check the dates. So this started, um. Yeah, January 12th. Okay, so yeah, I think it's like two leagues, two leagues. So as you can see, wow, this is really complicated. Um, I I don't even know how I'm going to... This looks really complicated from my understanding. So then they do aggregate table. Okay. Oh, so then they determine... Okay, so they combine the two tables, I think, right? Yeah, I think they combine the two tables. 
Yes, yes. So Apertura and Clausura, they combine both, and this is how you determine which teams make the CONCACAF Champions Cup. Okay, this is interesting. This is interesting. Okay, so that's actually interesting. So as of right now, we're not going to see Cruz Azul. Dang, that, that's interesting. That's interesting. So Club America, man, very dominant. Okay. Aggregate. Okay. Okay. I understand now. I understand. So yeah, um, it, it's a it's a bit complicated. Uh, but I uh, it, it's basically like two different league tables, and they basically combine points from that to determine which team makes the Concacaf Champions Cup. Moving on to the Egypt Egyptian Premier League, we got here. It is Pyramids that's currently first right now in a pretty heated title race with Al Masari. Um, and one thing that's pretty surprising here is that Al Ali are eleventh place. They're not doing too well. And for those that don't know, Al Ali is pretty much the most successful team in Africa. So the fact that they're eleventh place is quite surprising. Uh, then again, though, they are in the CAF Champions League final. They're playing against Esperance. So it's like a North African uh, matchup. So I would probably expect them to win. But, man, that, that's actually interesting, man. They're 11th place in their own domestic league. That's pretty surprising. Pretty surprising, to say the least. Okay, moving on. The South Africa division. Um, we got here. It is uh, Premier Division. So as you can see, I think uh, Amala... Mamelo J Sundowns, yeah, they're like the best team in uh, South Africa. I know this team. They're 59 points, undefeated, 18 wins, 5 draws. So this is also another undefeated club, guys. Another undefeated club. They're going to walk away with this title. Uh, we also have some interesting names like Cape Town City, uh, TS Galaxy. Yeah, I, I don't really know this. Hold up, is that the IX badge? Hold up, is that the IX badge? <laughs> no way. That, 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 that looks like the IX badge. No freaking way. That's Is that the IX badge? No way, no way. Oh my god, guys, that might be the IX match. Like, hold up. Guys, it literally looks exact same. They literally copy that word for word. Uh, wh what is the difference? There's, There's got to be some difference, man. There's got to be some difference. That is crazy, man. That is absolutely crazy. I did not anticipate this, so yeah, wow, wow. All right, moving on. Uh, moving on to the Tunisia League. So we got here at the Tunisia League. We're right now in the playoff stage. Man, a lot of these leagues are the playoffs, which is nice. Europe, man, take notes, man. Take notes. Anyway, so this is like the regular season. So as you can see, this is the regular season. So Group A, we got S. Salouz as first, 25 points. And then Group B, L. Tunis. S. Tunis. Um, so that's 30, 32 points. Yeah, it's Esperance is the only team I really recognize from here. Um, and then looking at the playoffs, they have another. So, yeah, so this is how the playoffs is. So the championships, so they're going to be doing this. Obviously, Duna, uh, um, Esperance should win it. And, of course, they're in the, um, the CAP Champions League final. So um, it will be interesting to see um, if they can uh, beat Al Ali. I hope they can, uh, but it will be hard to see. It will be hard for them. The Saudi Pro League, of course. Uh, we, we, can't, we, we have to talk about this league. Obviously, um, Al Nasser is 71 points. They're in a pretty good form. Um, that being said, though, Al Hilal is undefeated, man. 26 draw wins, 2 draws, 80 points. Yeah, now earlier today, Al Nasser did get a, um, did get a, uh, um, what was it called? I think they played it today, earlier today. Yep, they played earlier today. And the Kings Cup champions, uh, Christian Ronaldo, obviously scored a brace. And they're out in the final. And who are they be playing against in the final? They'd be playing against, of course, Al Hilal. It had to be them, of course. It had to be them. <laughs> it had to be them, of course. The inevitable, the inevitable. But yeah, um, it's going to be interesting to see if Cristiano Ronaldo can win another trophy in the Saudi Pro League. So shout out to him and shout out to him. Uh, moving on to the UAE Pro League. Of course, one of my good subscribers um, is, a, is a UAE friend and Rati fan. Uh, looking, at, uh, looking at the UAE League. Um, to be honest with you guys... Um, it is a pretty interesting because Al Wasi are currently first 52 points and dank Al Ain. This is a team that's in the uh, AFC Champions League final. It's not even the best team in their own league. <laughs> I guess it just shows how how they're going all in for the Champions League, essentially. You know, kind of like uh some of the European teams do. So that's that's actually interesting. Interesting, man. So shout, shout out to Al Ain, man, and hopefully Shabab Al Ali. I think that's my friend's. Uh, that's my friend's club. I hope they can win the league, but. It's looking pretty unlikely. So, yeah. Interesting, interesting. I believe I believe Iniesta plays um, for uh, for one of these. Uh, I feel like, wait, does Inia, wait, which team does Iniesta play for? Is it this team? Nope, it's not this team. I could have sworn Iniesta plays in this league. 
Let me show you guys right here the pro players. Yep, Iniesta. Yes, Iniesta. Which team does he play for? He plays for. Uh, he, bro, it doesn't even say here. Uh, oh, wait, wait, hold up. It doesn't say. It says right here Emra, Emirates, Emirates Club. Okay, Emirates Club. Okay, so shout out to Iniesta, man. One of the greatest Barcelona players of all time. Then you got Harris Safarovic. Oh my God, I remember that guy from Benfica. I should be looking at these uh, players in the leagues and set standings. Uh, so that would be more interesting. But yeah, um, do I recognize? I don't really know the next one. Oh, Moisa Marenga. I remember, I remember this guy from Porto. You know what, guys? Let's just look at the players real quick. Obviously, I know the Saudi Pro League players. Uh, the Nishi players. Do, do I recognize any from this league? I don't think I recognize anybody here. Yeah, I don't recognize anybody. I don't think I recognize anybody from this league. Um, let's see. Do I recognize anybody here? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, yeah, right. I do recognize this guy. This guy's a South Africa goalkeeper. Ronald Williams. Yeah, he was amazing, man. He was a great goalkeeper. Fantastic goalkeeper. Uh, I don't recognize anyone else, I don't think. Yeah, I don't recognize most of these players, man. Egypt. Uh, players. No, nah, I mean, actually, I think I know this guy. Ahmed Fatih, Percy Tao, yes, I know that guy. Uh, Muhammad El Shanawi, I know, I've heard of him. Uh, let's see who else. Muhammad Hadri, I think I heard of him. El Shanawi, I heard of him. I heard of some of these players. Okay. Uh, the Mexican League. Uh, let's see if we can uh, pull that out. Uh, yeah, I should have been looking at the players, man. That That's actually interesting. Players, man. Players, players. Players, okay. Uh, let's see. Players. Okay, so we got Presido. Yes, I know that guy. Uh, Javier Hernandez, of course, I know. Dilrus, Dilruson, I think that name seems familiar. Idrissa, that name seems familiar. Uh, William Canaris, yeah, I think he played for the National Decay. Colwell, yeah, my American guy. Solomon Rondon, yeah. Guzman, yeah. A lot of these names are familiar to Mexican players. Um, Diego Linus, yeah, I remember that guy. Guardado, yes, I remember that guy. Um, yeah, Salcedo, yeah, yeah, a lot of those players are pretty recognizable. Look at Argentina real quick, Edison Cavani, of course, I recognize him. Miguel Borja, yes, I recognize him. Uh, who else I get? Marantel, yeah, well, to be fair, I only recognize him for my FM save I'm doing with Boca. Uh, Ramirez, okay, Advocal, yeah, I, yeah, I actually know quite a decent amount of these players. Echeverry, talented player. Medina, yeah, Lagoni, yeah, I mean, I could go on and on. But yeah, okay, let, let's move on, man. Let's move on. So, where are we? Where are we? Okay, let's look at the Qatar League, man. So, standings-wise, looking at this, I got a little sidetrack there. al Saad is actually top of the league, 49 points. It's a pretty heated title race, though, between Al Ryan and al Gafri. And yeah, so, uh, where, where's the team that, um, that yeah, al Saad's the team that's Javi coached before Barca. So, looking at the players, Omar al Sama, yes, I recognize that guy. That guy is, like, Syria's best player of all time, I think. Uh, Buendia, yes. Algeria, I know him. Al Namate, yes. I recognize Akram Afif, yes. Verratti, yes. Coutinho, yes. Draxler, yes. Al, uh, Ali, yes. Al Hedos, yes. Buffal, yes. I recognize quite a decent amount of these players, to be fair. Uh, Gonzalo Plata, yes. Yeah. Um, Rafinha, yeah, I recognize. Yeah, I recognize a good amount of these players, man. I recognize a good amount. So, that's good. And then moving on to the Iraq, uh, Iraq Stars League. So, as you can see right here, guys. Al Shrata. Is actually first in the league, 56 points. So that's actually surprising. And Alkuri, uh, um, and how do you pronounce that? Al Jawi is actually second in the league, which is actually weird because they only lost one game this season, and they, yet they're still second. And Al Zari, I think that's my friend's team, uh, 46 points. So pretty interesting. Let's see if I recognize any of these players. Ahmed Hussein, of course, I recognize him. Iraq's best player, uh, hands down. Mohana Ali, uh, Ali Jassim. Uh, besides the Iraq players, I don't think I really recognize that many players here. But yeah, I, I recognize quite a few of these players. Um, and then the Austria League, man, uh, uh, um, Austria League, um, obviously, uh, Central Coast is actually first. Wow. That's interesting. Melbourne City is actually six right now, 39 points. Yeah, Central Coast might be running away, although Wellington might have something to say. 53 points. But yeah, I mean, this league, man, it's going to be interesting. So we have uh, Tagored, Roxim, Torres, Busca. Yeah, I don't really recognize many of these players, if I'm being honest with you, but 
It's interesting, man. It's interesting. Uh, and then moving on, the final league we got here, it is the Indian Super League, of course. Mohan Bagheen, I've already won. And so they've already won um, won the league. So shout out to them. And now, wait. Oh, yeah, they already, yeah, yeah. So th they made they won the, the league division. Now they're going to go to the playoffs. And we have a playoff final, Mohan Bagheen versus Mumbai City. So that's going to take place on May 4th. Okay, it's going to take place in a few days' time. Okay, may, uh, I might maybe watch that game. Maybe I might. Uh, we'll see. But, yeah, it's going to be interesting, guys. So I would probably say um, Mohan Bagan should probably win that, though. They should win that. But it's going to be interesting, man. It's going to be interesting. So hope you guys did enjoy this video, guys, going over the other leagues outside of Europe, man. Show the non-European some love, you know. And I um, hope you guys did enjoy, guys. So please remember to like and subscribe. And, yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace. Out.